Uh, what TV do you like? Uh, honestly, I'm the worst TV student. Every time I'm in a class and they like ask us to talk about our favorite TV and movies. You don't have one. I totally blank. Yeah. Why do you want to be in that business? Just to uh, get out of Arizona? Yeah, I needed to leave the desert. Too dry. Real bad. Yeah, yeah, way too dry, way too hot. Dogs being murdered by rattlesnakes. Really, that uh, happens there? It does happen there. Yeah. Maybe I'll spend a little more time there. That's my thing. <laughs> That's your thing. I love to see a dog get killed. <laughs> All right, you got a New York girlfriend yet? Uh, not right now. No. no. How long you been in the city? I've been in the city since 2016. Is when I started. Oh, okay. School. Yeah. But you're in the Bronx. You come down to Manhattan much? Uh, no, I uh, I go to the Manhattan campus. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Where's yeah. that at? It's at Lincoln Center. All right, right. nice. So mm -hmm. walking this, Earl. Why are you leaning in? Like you have something to add? You have nothing to add. <laughs> What do you have to add to this? Why? Why do? When I see someone go like that, I'm like they're dying to talk. And then I thought to myself, what could he possibly add? <laughs> no, I just shifted to my left. I didn't want to. Well, admit. there's a, a body language that we all use in this yes. room. Yeah. That we, when we shift to the mic, we know to give right. that person room to speak. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is it, Earl? I was just gonna say I saw a rattlesnake one time. <laughs> I actually, he was completely obscured by Vito. And yeah, when Vito's you, gigantic. And you moved, I've never seen someone closer to a mic. <laughs> well, my favorite show this year, and I can't believe that it didn't um, get nominated, is Cash Cab. Mm -hmm. I've got some exciting news for everything, for everybody. Mm. Our own Vito Calise will be on Cash Cab uh, this season. Woo! And you were in, in, on the show because I saw the trailer and it looked like you had a diverse group of friends with you. I had a really diverse group of friends with me. It was my friends Ian, Shaka, and Gabe. Yeah. So we took a cab to go play some basketball. We get into the cab, the lights go off, and it's fucking Ben Bailey saying, you're on Cash Cab. A dream. A dream it for was, so many. It was insane. Look at you and you your guys friends are going, going crazy. You're shit. actually rocking the boat. It was it's so in, like when the when the lights went off, I've never screamed so loud in my life. I it, Ben Bailey like You didn't just, notice Ben as you were getting into the cab? No, so he he like kind of like crouches up and hides and you're just like trying to run into a cab so you're not really paying attention to the driver. And then the, the lights like you do, you really like the lights aren't noticeable because it's just a plain top and then they fucking go off. And he turns around. You know, I always remember that from watching the show years ago, is that people always looked so shocked when the lights went on yeah. that they looked like they were going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Dude, I mean, Cash Cab had been out for maybe two weeks, and I walk into this fucking burger place, and Ben Bailey's sitting there, and I had never met him before. I go, what the fuck? It's Cash Cab. He's eating with like four other people. They look up and then the whole restaurant, it was the whole cash crab crew. And we were like the first fucking people going, motherfucker, you're from cash cab. Love you guys. They're all looking like, yes, yeah, we're gonna fucking make it. working. It's happening. People are watching. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I feel like I would know Ben from the back of his head though. He, yeah, he was crouched over, and um, the only thing we heard him say was Ian tried to get in the front seat, and he just heard somebody go, no, man, go on the back. And then he just got into the back seat. And it, it's, If I was any cab fucking driver, I said, no, you can't sit up front. <laughs> uh -uh. I wouldn't allow, That's where wouldn't my allow. bag is. Up. My, all my snacks. <laughs> it's yeah. my bag. And a pee bottle also. That I oh. <laughs> it happens. It's horror story. So we don't, we don't have an air date yet. We've ch we ch we checked in. Um, they're still editing. You're probably the show. being vetted. Probably seeing if you got anything in your life that yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, any rapes? No, <laughs> there's none. I can promise. Any there's assistant none. murders? No assisted assisted suicide. Murders. None. <laughs> I'm just pumped. assisted suicide as well. I will say they 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 put a price like the don't believe the the trailer. There's still it's still not. I, it's just not relax for a second. If you act like this on Cash Cab, we'd have to reshoot. Good point. <laughs> what is the problem that you have? They put up there that we won thirty five, thirty seven hundred dollars, and we we did not. Okay. We did not win thirty seven hundred dollars. So you're saying this is editing. This is not uh, exactly. It's not so like still watch the episode, even though you see. You the guys end. are going ape shit like you won thirty seven hundred. <laughs> we I wish we won thirty seven hundred. You but, guys obviously are happy about something. We're pretty happy, but I mean, you can't like, be, that can't be one right answer. You know what they're no. happy about? Mm -hmm. Their youth. 
<laughs> Life. They're celebrating their youth. Life itself. But Cash Cab's on Bravo now. Comes back in October. But I, the, I'm, I can't believe it because that was a dream. Me and my friends in college would be like watching that show and we would all go, if we got in the Cash Cab, I know we could nail it. Because we would play along with it. And it's it always seemed like possible in the realm of possibility. I had a very similar New York dream. I always wanted to uh, shoot do dope with uh, Lou Reed. I just uh, feel like if I could do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I made it here. And you're like, you know, at least I know I could keep up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I die trying, as they say in the business. <laughs> it is uh, It is pop culture centric now. So it's not like it used to be like history and yeah, some like history, travel stuff. Science. But now it's all like it's it, like one of the like there was questions about like what baseball team played at this place. Is there a video thing at the end? Yeah, there's a there's a video question at the end. Okay, so that hasn't and still, changed. Like, that hasn't changed. Down. There's still you still double down. There's nice. still red light. There's still a red light question, and uh, you can still get. Can a you sh do shout outs? Yeah, you can get that. Now they have two options for shout outs. You can shout out to somebody on the street or you Always can do a social one. media shout out. Mm. I, I mean, I know I'm not going to get on Cash Cap, so I would love to be shout out from the street. Oh, that I'd would love be. be the fucking guy who just leans in and goes like this. That's Anson Williams. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking give the love answer. Like yeah. Turn around. Yeah, don't even dude. wait for a fucking you thank you. Me, dude. It's easy for me. <laughs> I know a lot of fucking facts. <laughs> I've been through a lot of shit. Ian is just. Like he had an orgasm. Yeah, let's see again with Ian. He he does look really, really excited. He's orgasmic. <laughs> we were so all pretty excited. hopped up. Feel bad for my two friends in the back that don't get a lot of camera time. But Fuck them. Yeah. I sucks mean, to suck. Let's be, let's be honest. You and Ian are kind of the face of your yeah, operation we're the face anyway. of the team. Would you have been leaning up if you did? <laughs> if you got the back seat? Yeah, if, oh, <laughs> that's, that's on them too. Because if I was in the back, you would have seen, you would have just seen a big old lean forward the entire time. <laughs> Uh, Dave, Dave in Tennessee. Hey, Vito, did they uh, ask you when the sky starts? Oh, my God. You would have been <laughs> out on that. Oh, Jesus. God. That would have been really embarrassing. Vito thinks that the sky starts right from your head. Yeah. Yeah. That I, the I, sky is not the sky. It just, I don't see, I don't see any reason why the sky wouldn't start just at your feet because if. Really? Well, what if I said, look at the sky, Vito, that fucking <laughs> empty space right above the <laughs> floor. If, you would be looking in the wrong direction. If you're an ant. You would be looking. I'm not up. an ant, and I don't discuss things with ants. <laughs> I discuss things with human beings, and we all know that the sky is up where it's blue. This it's it's relative though. The sky is completely no, it relative. relative to children, to adults. No, no, it isn't. To dogs. You you would say, oh, where's that thing in the sky? And you're like two inches into the sky. You wouldn't no. say that. By the way, uh, when That's I'm in air. a plane, I go, I'm in the sky. When I'm on a chair, I don't say that I'm in the sky. <laughs> but you where, see the difference? But where do you consider yourself in the sky when this, the plane's taking off? I wait until we get up, and then I'm, I'm up in the sky now. <laughs> I think you're in the sense. sky the second you're on the... You're, just, you're in the plane. You're sitting above air. Yeah. You're in the sky. Is I my hat in the sky right now? Look. <laughs> Is that the sky? No, no, it isn't technically. You're fucking wrong to act like you have something that you could say technically. There's no technical person who will say six inches above the ground is now, in the sky. Now, how how tiny are you going to say? Are you going to say a millimeter? Yeah. Like a millimeter yeah. above your head is the sky. Anything above ground is the sky. Look, this is a racial question, so I'm going to finally ask Earl. Earl, <laughs> as a black man living in the kind of problems that you've grown up with your whole life. Yes. Where's the sky? Sky is... The, the sky, you know, when you go the up, in the, the you know, when you go up in the air, if you're in an airplane, you're flying you in the you you're flying in yeah, the sky. I really, you just <laughs> fucking said. I understand. I told that. you to bring something new to this, not to repeat this what I like said. This is like my card all over. I mean, again. I could honestly. Say, I know he just stole what you wrote in the card. <laughs> That's a bad way to go through life, bro. Um, now I'll just ask this: Is the kite is a kite in the sky? Is the bird in the sky? We say yes to that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when I have the kite, I'm ready to start running with it. <laughs> no one says, careful, that kite's already in the sky. It's a grounded uh, kite. <laughs> You're an annoying person. And this is why, like, I'll pick up the paper and hear, like, someone got beat to death with a fucking hammer. Because it's so frustrating. I know. When someone... Defend stupidity. It's okay to be stupid 
Everybody's yeah. stupid sometimes. Sure. But when you defend it, <laughs> then you're the type of person who needs to be beat to death. I don't think I need to be beat to death. I think it just makes sense that, you know, the sky starts at the ground when you're a two, little kid. Two stupid things happened. Okay. One, you said that. And then yeah. two, Earl came in and said this thing that I said just <laughs> moments before. Like if we really had, what do you call that in the cartoon when you have that bubble, like a thought bubble uh -huh, or whatever? Yeah. It, mine would still be there as his <laughs> and, came in. And he would be just snatching yeah. it out of your... He would be in the same frame as me saying the exact same thing. By Vito's idea, if you trip, you fall through the sky. You just trip and fall on the ground. You fell through the if sky. If your feet leave the ground, yeah. But if you just trip... And but you... I, yet I've right. never heard you say this. I've mm -hmm. never heard you say like, oh man, I dropped my phone through the sky and it hit the ground. Well, I just need to get specific it. with everything. Here's the thing. I'm going to burn your fucking Mets hat. <laughs> do, do it, Rod. <laughs> because you don't deserve that hat. It looks like a new one. Too. How are they doing right now? How much time is left? A week? Seven, seven games left. They have, to, they have to win every game and the Cubs have to have a collapse and the Nationals have to have a collapse and the Brewers have to not win any games, but they could make the wild guard. But you enjoyed playoff. your summer, right? I enjoyed my summer. I mean, I'm like... I'm I'm gonna go to some games this week. Hopefully, Pete Alonso breaks a home run record. It's it's been a really fun season. Wait, is he gonna hit 72 home runs? Is that the home run <laughs> the record? The rookie right? home run record. <laughs> That's not a home run record. That's bullshit. I, he's, he's very excited about it. Me? How many home yeah. runs will it be for a rookie? Uh, 52 is the the record, so he has to hit 53. He has three left. Seven games. Seven games. He's got to hit three. Yeah. For your sake, I hope he gets it. If he does. Make a fucking viral video and like, okay. yay! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's you Make did it. Viral.